Hi, and welcome to Coffee and Calacas. I'm your host, Joe. If you're new to this channel, I want to welcome you and let you know that this is a weekly podcast where we sit around and drink coffee and we talk about mysticism, the supernatural, and what else lies in the beyond. If you are into this, then I hope you stick around and enjoy this week's show. Thank you. Hi. Um, I'm bringing a cold brew here. Happy spring, if you are watching this in spring. It's kind of a, it's a fresh day, but it's kind of warm. Mm, always a good time for cold brew. Honestly, always a good time for iced coffee. You know, if it's cold outside, it's iced coffee season. If it's hot outside, it's iced coffee season. So um, never let anyone shame you for iced coffee, okay? Plus, it has water and ice cubes in it, so it's like extra healthy, Honestly, you can't go wrong with iced coffee. Um, so last night I was um, getting ready for bed and I saw this this spider. It wasn't a big spider. I just, I'm just afraid of spiders, okay? Um, I mean, I know I've, I've talked about how I'm afraid of mirrors and I'm afraid of the dark and I'm afraid of the Latrusa that's out at my house, but I'm also afraid of spiders. Um, I'm afraid of a lot of things, okay? Probably my own shadow too. But no, really, um, I mean, I, I don't hate spiders per se, because I can watch Spider-Man, so it's not like a complete arachnophobia, but um, spiders just give me the heebie-jeebies, maybe because, you know, they can hang upside down, and, you know, the whole, oh, uh, you swallow about eight or ten spiders in your lifetime while sleeping, it, I don't know, it's something about that just gives me the heebie-jeebies, and anyway, so I saw the spider before going to bed, and I said, oh no, um, I got to kill it. So I'm sorry to animal animal, lover, animal lovers out there. Um, I'm not going to handle spiders, okay? You do you. You save the world, you know, once better at a time, but not at my house. I, I couldn't risk it. I wouldn't be able to sleep and I'd be really uncomfortable. So yeah, I did what made me feel safe and I um, was trying to kill the spider. So, um, but again, I can't smush the spider. It's something about like, I know you don't really hear the spider crunch or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, just the thought of like smacking or something. Um, gives me the heebie-jeebies too. So I'm looking for, um, you know, raid or something to spray it. And I reach down and I pick up a, a can of Lysol and I'm like, no, this is going to give the spider superpowers. It's going to make it invincible. So I put it down and find the raid and I sprayed the spider. This spider was so chill. It was just like, I'm going to let you have a chance. It was pulling the Michael Myers on me. It really was. It was just standing there waiting for me to you know find something to kill it with because as soon as i grab the right bottle it tries to run for me um i sprayed it hopefully you know i made a little barrier from where i saw it so hopefully if it were to come out it were to land on the stuff and wither away slowly you know or fast i don't know but um i mean after spraying where i sprayed i was okay i'm like okay i, I can go to bed now um, I'm not afraid that it's going to like come into my room and, you know, eat me anymore, but you know, that, that honestly, it, it is one of my fears, like spiders, small bugs. Um, no, I just, I just can't like, it's, it's just to me, I don't know. It's just, they're just, they just give me the heebie-jeebies. Um, like I can kill a wasp. It gives me the heebie-jeebies too, because I'm afraid it's going to sting me, but, um, I have no problems killing a wasp. I actually did kill some wasps recently too. Um, had a big wasp nest outside my house and I sprayed it. Beautiful, beautiful. It, I killed the, the wasp, no issues at all. Then now there's more wasp. Um, not sure where they're coming from though, to be honest with you. They just kind of appear. And I did spray some. I know I killed one the other night and man, that thing was like radioactive or something because it refused to die. I kept, you know, I sprayed it. I kept stepping on it. Um, it just didn't want to go down. Um, it finally did. It finally did, you know, um, come to its demise and I got rid of it. But um, yeah, these wasps, I don't know. I know they're not more murder hornets, but um, they're pretty big. I know that wasps can get about two, two inches, but this looked a little bit bigger than two inches, to be honest with you. Um, maybe about two and a half inches, which you could say, oh, it's probably just a an abnormal sized wasp but there was more than one and all of them kind of looked about that size they're pretty big and i'm not the only one that saw them my my neighbor saw them too um but yeah i was talking about the lochusa too 
Um, if you've seen TikTok, you have seen a couple of posts where I've talked about the lechusa. Um, the, if you don't know, there is lechusa in my neighborhood. Um, it's pretty big. It's it's significantly big. Like, enough that you can see it from, you know, a good distance away. It's not a small little bird. It's a lechusa. You, it's an owl, man. You you know it is. <sighs> Like it, and the thing is that it, it flies near my house all the time. And I'm like, yo, stop. Don't be bringing me bad luck, man. I don't, this is not the season for bad luck. You know, there's like a war in Ukraine going on. Gas prices are high. It, this is not the season to be bringing bad luck upon the household. Okay. You know, so this, this big Latrusa flies and, um, a, about three, four weeks ago, I had seen it and it, uh, it flew. And I tried to capture a picture of it, but by the time I, I came back outside, um, well, the thing is that it, I saw it fly and it landed on the um, power lines up above my house. And I had left my cell phone inside. So I ran back inside the house to go with the cell phone to go take a picture of it. By the time I, the thing is that my, my dog started barking. When they saw me get towards the door, they started barking. So I think their barks scared it away. So I get near the door, I go back outside, and the lechuza is completely gone. And I'm like, all right, you know, the little TikTok saying that I saw it, right? Um, to everyone that liked it, thanks, appreciate the, the, the likes out there for that. Um, if you haven't seen it, go see the video. It's funny. I'm like, <laughs> I'm hilarious out, out there on that. Um, so then about last week or two weeks ago, I saw the lechuza again. But this time, it was um, where I live, there's a, a, a levee. And that levy is federal government property. So there's a gate on that levy and um, it was standing on that gate. It was just there. So again, I try to take a picture of it, you know, and, um, and yeah, it's always at night when I see it, it's when I'm either coming back from having a cup of coffee or going to the grocery store or something. And um, I tried to take a picture of it and I saw it fly and it flew behind this house that's, you know, across the street from mine it's abandoned it's full of you know vagabonds and stuff and you know I it's more than just that it, it's full of like some bad juju it's full of bad vibes like no joke so I see it fly and I and I see it land there and I'm like oh my god and I tried to take a picture of it but I couldn't see it anymore I would have to go on top of the levee and I was afraid to go on the levee well before it went behind the house it it, it landed in the brush beside the gate and it was just staring at me so I got closer to it because I said, oh, I have a chance to get a, a, a really good picture. And the moment I opened the camera, boom, this thing flew to the behind the house. And at that point, I'm like, I'm not going to try to risk it. And then, you know, get attacked by something, bitten by a snake or something, you know, um, because the monte is kind of high in that area. And I just I wouldn't risk it, honestly, not for Lechusa. So anyway, the other night, um, the Lechusa was back outside my house. Um, this time it was sitting down on top of that house looking towards my house and it was just there being the pest, you know, uh, again, by the time you go out there to try to get a picture, this thing goes flies away on um, that, that night I didn't do a, a, a TikTok. I should have, but I didn't do one, um, missed opportunity. But if you keep up with TikTok, try to keep up with the Lechusa. I'm trying to get a, a pic of a, a video, you know, with some sighting of it. For those that are new to this channel, and don't know what a lechusa is. A lechusa is a big owl. Um, my great grandpa believed that lechusas were witches, um, shape shifting witches that would take the the persona of an owl. You know that was like I guess they're kind of familiar of sorts, and would um, and those witches he considered you know um evil. You know those were evil witches who would do that to taunt you know their victims and and whatnot. So, um, that's why that's the thing with the lechusa. So I mean. How true it is, I don't know. But my great grandpa believed in it. And if it was good enough for him, it's good enough for me. I mean, I know it's not always the case, but um, it's a lechusa, you know. Um, it's just it's just so weird. It just came out of nowhere, it started hanging around in the area. And this all started happening just be like right as my grandmother is about to die. So I don't know, to me, it's just a coincidence. I don't know if I ever told you guys the story of the time that my grandma wakes up in the middle of the night and she's like hysterical. She said that she had this dream that Okay, so the lady that my great grandpa used to call La Bruja La Lechusa, um, you know, she lived across the house, across my house, the in that in that abandoned house that's there now. And um, you know, 
she said that I know pues que estaba dormida and she she was trying to uh you know she was trying to sleep and she says the lady comes into her room at night and says ya es tu tiempo para llevarte you know this is my time to take you and my grandma's like no 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 estoy muerta she's like yes you know it's your, it's your time now and so my grandma starts you know she woke up freaking out and she was and I, I think at that time the lady had just been maybe about six months who she, when she had passed away um so my grandma was freaking out she's like oh my gosh and this is this is not too long ago this is maybe about three four years ago when this happened so yeah my grandma was was really sincerely freaked out about it and um you know to me it's just a coincidence this lechusa hangs out at that area my grandma had a dream like that and then all of a sudden you know the lechusa appears right around the time my grandma gets very sick and she you know ends up passing away so i don't know to me it is it a coincidence possibly could it be some kind of something supernatural why not right um i i feel like it, it's it's possible to, for it to be supernatural um here i am rambling about lechuzas and i haven't even gotten into the topic of this week um so stay tuned and let's find out okay so thank you for staying tuned. Drink a little bit of water here. Balance, you know, some iced coffee, some, you know, water. Anyway, um, so this week's topic is the you see, you <laughs> know, if you're afraid of clowns, don't watch the rest of this video. Um this this topic will be about clowns. Um, when I was a kid, I mean, I don't know, things were very different back in the, in the, you know, late eighties, early nineties. Um, I mean, yes, my parents were aware of, um, like the effects of movies and stuff on kids, but I don't know. I feel like I grew up very well balanced, you know, emotionally and stuff in the sense that, Hey, I understand, you know, this is fake. This is real. Maybe Chucky's real though. Don't don't come at me with Chucky, okay? Because eso sí me asusta. Dolls scare me. <laughs> like, like I said, I'm afraid of a lot of things. So, um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That was one of my favorite movies, you know, to watch as a kid. I don't know. I mean, it was it was creepy. Clowns are creepy, but um, something about the way the movie is done. It's just, it's a good cheese factor. A good, you know, comedy. And, you know, it ties in well with the whole horror, you know, scary movie kind of, kind of thing. Um, and it's a little sci-fi too. Um, I don't know if any of you have watched Killer Quantum Matter Space, but if you haven't, you have to watch it. Um, no joke. It is a phenomenal movie. Um, I think it's underrated people a lot of people don't know about it um i've talked to several people and most people are like what is that i've never heard of it i recommend it they watch it they enjoy it um so it is a 1988 american science fiction comedy horror film it was written directed and produced by uh the chiodo brothers and starring grant kramer suzanne snyder and john allen nelson and john vernon okay um, it is the only film to be written and directed by the Chiodo brothers, who also created the practical effects and makeup for the film. This film is about a clan of evil extraterrestrials who also resemble clowns. They arrive on Earth and invade a small town in order to capture, kill, and harvest the human inhabitants to use as, as sustenance. Okay, so you're probably thinking, oh man, that's just, that's so campy, um... It's not on it. I mean, it might be, but it's such a good movie. Um, so in the movie, you have this guy who's um, who's young. I, I want to say maybe like high school, college age kid. Um, I mean, when you're watching it, you can. It's it's done in such a way where you're like you can watch it and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I can see that happening, you know. Um, so he's out with his girlfriend and they're at the, I guess you could say it's a lover's lane of sorts. And they see this, this um, thing in the sky and it's glowing and they're like, oh my gosh, it's a shooting star and it's falling to earth. And um, 
you know, they're they're very intrigued. So they cut to another scene and it's a farmer and, you know, he sees the same thing. And, you know, so both parties venture out into the woods to go look for where this thing was supposed to, was supposed to have crash landed. Okay. Um, the farmer ends up seeing that, you know, it's, it's a circus. He's like, there's a circus in the middle of the woods. Like, okay, whatever. Um, goes in, he finds out that no, it is not a circus and they're killer clowns. Yeah. So there are these aliens that look like clowns. Um, I mean, I've always wondered if they were actually clowns, you know, or they were just, um, these aliens that said, Hey, let's use this idea of a clown. You know, they understand human, um, I guess, uh, I mean, they have an understanding of what humans have on earth, you know? So they think, oh, clowns are supposed to be funny. Um, let's, you know, gain the trust of the people by being clowns and pretending to be a circus, you know, in order to be able to harvest the the humans, you know. Um, I, I'm thinking that's what it is. Okay. I'm I'm actually I don't actually think it's a race of clowns. I don't know. What do you think? If, if you've seen it, what do you think? So um they find these clowns, and I know that that the guy um and his girlfriend end up uh looking for it for themselves too. And they see that there's like the inside of what looks like a spaceship. Um, you know, there's these big cocoons, and the cocoons are they look like cotton candy, okay? And um they they I think they get spotted by a clown, they end up getting away, um, and the clowns go looking for the humans, of course. So it's it's a fun movie. Um in the movie, you the the clowns end up coming into the actual town, and they start taking people, and they put up like a little show in the, like the in the little um, Central Park, and um, in the little town square and stuff. And you know, everyone's like, "Oh, they're so engrossed in what's going on with the show that they're not, you know, perceiving the danger around them." Which is why I think that the clowns are um, using the projecting the idea of a clown onto themselves in order to be able to, uh, they're masking themselves as clowns in order to, you know, gain trust of the people, the humans in order to, to capture them and stuff, you know, I mean, cause yeah, they're, they're, they're like, Oh wow, it's a clown, blah, 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 blah. And eventually, um, you know, it's found out that, yeah, the clowns are taking people, they're kidnapping them, or I mean, they're assuming they're kidnapping them. They're zapping them with these little guns. They're turning them into this kind giant cotton candy, um, you know, cocoons and the humans are the cocoons or the cotton candy. And, um, if I, if you've never watched this, man, I'm sorry for spoiling this for you. Stop watching the podcast and go watch the, the movie. Um, if you haven't, if you don't care about spoilers, you know, and you're still going to watch the movie, the no, no, no big deal. I hopefully this inspires you to watch the movie. Um, so these clowns take these humans and they take them to this, to the circus or to their spaceship, you know, and they're harvesting them because they're going to take them away and, um, police get involved and they're trying to locate the clowns and, you know, but the police are getting attacked by the clowns too. And they're getting eaten and getting killed. And, um, eventually you get back to the spaceship and the young guy from the beginning, you know, clearly he's, he's the the um you know hero here he comes in and you know kind of saves the day and then they have to battle this huge clown i mean huge huge clown um i mean maybe about four times the size of a even, even bigger than that i mean it's just big um it's like a jumbo clown i think his name is like jojo jojo i think and he's supposed to be like a marionette kind of thing. So he's like on some strings. Um, honestly, amazing movie. So they create this in order to win, I guess, you know, they give it like a, like a video game, you know, you go through levels and then you now you're going to have to battle the boss and the boss happens to be this giant, you know, um, Godzilla like creature, a clownzilla of sorts. And, um, 
you got to ba- battle the clownzilla in order to win at the very end. And yeah, I, honestly, watch the movie if you haven't watched it. Um, it was supposed to be um, the title was in the in the like originally supposed to be um, just killer clowns, but um, they the the when they were doing the the movie and stuff. I guess they, they didn't want it to just be think, oh, it's a slasher film, film, you know. They wanted it to see, okay, it's something a little sci-fi-ish, a little different. So that's what they added, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I got some amazing Killer Clown Pops. Um, and I think one of them was uh, Jojo, the the Clownzilla. And, um, oh my gosh, that that one was like a, like a Comic-Con kind of find. And... It was expensive. Um, everything on eBay was just like way over my budget. Um, so the, this podcast is funded by my budget from work. So whatever I worked during the, and you know, I always put a little money, a bit, money aside too. But this podcast, so that's why I say, you know, your contributions really help a lot. Um, watching, keeping the page alive really helps. Honestly, it really does. Um, and it helps. Honestly, I do this for fun because I find it fun um, entertaining. And I hope you do too. But yeah, like I, I use my own, you know, work money to, to fund this just because, um, I mean, I'm not a money baby. I'm not, but you know, I'm, I'm, I have, I want to have fun. So anyway, um, from what I had allotted in my podcast budget, I'm like, if I, if I buy it by itself, like that's it, like there's not going to be any podcast money for a good, you know, three, four months. So I said, I can't. So, and I, I was, you know, I have about three already, three, three of the killer clown pops and was just, you know, over the, over the moon with them. Cause they were great, but I did want that fourth one, you know, the big one. And I said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to save, I'm going to save for it. So it just happened one morning. I opened my phone and eBay happened to, you know, be open on my phone. And there was a notification that there was a pop for sale. And I said, huh, should I? So I look at it and it's, an, and it's the, 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 you know, the, the big one. And it was for like, no joke, not even half of the cost of, of what it was um, going on eBay for, you know? So I said to myself, should I get it? And so I went for it. Um, I went ahead and bought it and it had free shipping, man. That was the great thing. Free shipping. The thing is that it was coming from Chile. And I said to myself, it's a risk. It's a risk because you never know if it's actually going to make it to you, you know, with the way things have been going and stuff, you know, you don't know. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. So I did. I, I actually bought it. Um, about six weeks later, it finally arrives in the mail and it was the best thing ever. Um, I really was ecstatic you know, about having received it. Um, it was in great condition, great quality, but it's for me to use for the podcast. So I had no problems opening it either. Um, I mean, would it be more valuable inside a box? Yeah. But will it be more fun to use it for what I use my pops for? Yeah. And so I went ahead and opened it. Um, was I at least disappointed? No, I, it was worth every penny spent. And I was so glad I waited instead of just buying it full price off of eBay, um, what it was going for, the asking price. I mean, I feel bad for who sold it and they sold to me a way cheaper than, you know, it was going for on eBay. But you know what? It was meant to be. I'm super glad I got it because it, it completed my, my collection. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, then, you know, I have a lot of different pops and I'm always looking at pops and I love pops, um, you know, it's a great, it's a great, you know, um, method of expression. Um, I like to do little reels of them. So if you are on, Inst- if you're not on Instagram and you just listen to this on Spotify or, um, watch this on YouTube, check us out on, on Instagram. Trust me. Um, I have several reels there, different stuff. Um, I, I need to get more pops. I'll tell you that much, but there hadn't been money in the budget for pops because I invested in a computer for the podcast. 
So, um, yeah, you know, the money goes, um, money's well spent, um, trying to build up the podcast as, as, you know, best as possible, little by little. So, you know, things get invested, you know, whether it's, um, on getting, um, business cards, some stickers to, you know, give out to people, um, so that way they can promote it. Um, you know, but, you know, it, it's part of the podcast. So anyway, um, I dig those pops, check out Instagram so you can see, um, I'll do a little reels with, um, with, with the killer clowns. Um, honestly, it's great investment. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Um, so yeah, this, this movie, um, was supposed to be just very, um, lighthearted. I mean, it's, it's horror because clowns kill you and people are, are afraid of clowns. I mean, that's a really great way to, you know, um, tap into someone's phobias to, to these fears. I mean, cause clowns can be scary. I mean, I, I've been afraid of clowns before and it's just something about, it's a weird vibe you get, you know? Um, I, when, when I was thinking of this movie, I mean, you're thinking, well, what does it have to do with Bronzeville? Well, it doesn't because I watched it in Bronzeville. But, um, honestly, like, it, it's a really good movie. If you haven't watched it, you should. Low budget, um, I think it was, like, $10,000 that they had to, to, you know, start off with. And, you know, they really built it up. And it's not a movie for everyone. Because, like I said, if you're afraid of clowns, don't watch it. But if you like to get scared then this movie's for you. I mean, it's not a scary movie. It really isn't. Um, you know, it has its little jump scares here and there, but what movie doesn't have those anymore? You know, all, all these horror, horror movies have them. Um, but, uh, honestly, like, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a good movie. Um, so the Chiodo brothers are well known as special effects artists. Um, much of the special effects work was carried out by other artists, allowing the brothers to focus more on their production duties. However, the brothers did personally construct the miniature set for the um for the for the large clown, which they called yeah look they called it here Clownzilla. I do have it in my notes here. Um. So yeah, the Chill the brothers wanted to cast um the comedian Soupy Sales as a security guard killed by the clowns. Um, as he was known for receiving pies in the face on his children's television show lunch with soupy sales however the executive producers did not want to allocate funds to pay for sales plane ticket to the production as they felt the audiences would not know who sales was okay um if yeah they had these pies in the movie um that were like made out of acid so they would throw them at people and then it would melt them down or whatever and you would see their bones um yeah like i said it, it's very sci-fi. Um, nothing in the movie really screams um, slasher, slasher film, which is good because in in that time of the you know in that era you had you know um, the Halloween franchise, the Texas Chainsaw franchise, the um, the Freddy you know uh, Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, the um, Jason you know, Friday the 13th. So all this is out there and yeah, like it, it, it has, they want to do something, you know, that was going to be different and they did. They really did. Um, the movie was released in the U S on May 27th, 1988. The film was released on VHS by Fox home entertainment on July 17, 2001, which is not too long ago. It was long ago. <laughs> I just realized like we're in 2022. In my mind, we're still in 2000s. Okay, guys. Sorry. Um, I have the movie. I, I do believe I um, I own it as a DVD. I know that I have it on my um, Amazon Prime as a as a um, digital digital watch. Um, but yeah, like I, I do have it. It's a fun movie. If you don't want to spend money on it to watch it, then just you know we'll we'll do a movie night at my house. Um, the film was considered a cult, is, is considered a cult classic. Um, 
it, it they they do a killer clowns um comic con of sorts and they do have a um a good following um the people show up and and take pictures and they dress up and um i was talking to someone and you know we're talking about that and they were letting me know and i said oh, i wasn't even aware that that was a a, a thing and I went and searched for it. And yeah, it's it's a real thing. It's a Killer Clowns, like Comic-Con. Um, I don't remember what... Like, I, I don't exactly know off the top of my head what it's actually called. Um, let me search for it real quick. Um, killer... I cannot spell the word clowns for the life of me. Um, it's called Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Ross, Rostercon. And, um, from what I saw of it, like, it looked like so much fun. Um, a lot of people do show up and, and dress up and stuff. And, um, the actors show up to the, the, um, to the event, take pictures with, with, with the crowd. Um, I'm into those kind of things. I don't go, like I said, I really don't travel, but, you know, if there's something local, I'll, I'll, I'll try to attend. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie, something to, worth watching. Um, like I said, check out Instagram for, um, the pictures of, of the pops. I know a lot of you, um, are into that. If not, you know, message me about that and we'll, we'll have some words. Um, yeah. So check them out. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, go to Galakas pod. Dot com. There's a link to all our social media accounts there, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we have a Patreon as well. So check that out and, you know, um, subscribe, like, um, comment. Really do appreciate it, honestly. Um, let me know what you think. And thank you for watching this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for next week as well. And remember, life begins after coffee.